Ratio and proportions. Question 4. Find the unknown term. A. 6 is to 4 equals to x is to 14. And B is 19 is to 12 equals to 6 is to y. C and D is for you to do. So let me do A and B now. Now here, 6 is to 4 equals to x is to 14. So we are given two numbers related, 4 and 14. So what could be the scale factor between 4 and 14? 4 times 3 is 12 and 4 times 4 is 16 but not 14. So that means uh, there is no direct scale factor, correct? So what should we do? In such cases, we should write this in lowest terms, right? So that is the strategy, lowest terms. So how to reduce it to lowest terms? That is by finding a common factor, right? So how will you reduce to lowest terms? We need to find a common factor, right? So what is the common factor between 6 and 4? The common factor between 6 and 4 is 2. So let will divide both by 2. 2 is the common factor, right? So when you divide 6 by 2, you get 3. And when you divide 4 by 2, you get 2. So that is the lowest term. 3 is to 2. 4, 6 is to 4, correct? Now from here you can see you can get 14 by a scale factor of 7. And then you find a scale factor. Do you understand? Then you find a scale factor. So if I multiply by 7, then I get 21. 7 times 3 is 21 and 7 times 2 is 14. Now when you compare, you can compare and find out what x is. You say x is equal to 21, correct? That is the value of x, correct? So these are the steps to be followed for finding most of the answers of unknown in ratios and proportions. Do you see that? So that is what we will follow. So these are the three steps. So when you see that you don't have a direct scale factor, then you have to write the terms in lowest terms. How do you get the lowest terms? By dividing by a common factor, correct? and then find scale factor. Now here, first thing, first step. 9. Can you get directly from 9 to 6? No, you can't, right? So even if you divide 9 by 2, you get 4.5. You don't get 6. So the best thing is to find a common factor between 9 and 12. So common factor between 9 and 12 is 3. So we can divide both by 3. So if I divide both by 3, what do I get? 9 divided by 3 is 3. And 12 divided by 3 is 4. Correct? So this is the lowest term. It's first step, lowest terms. Now, do you get a relation between 3 and 6? Yes, you do. You can multiply by 2 now. If I multiply by 2, 3 times 2 is 6. And 4 times 2 is 8. So we get 6 is to 8. 6 is to y. What should be y? That means y should be equals to 8. Do you see that? y is equals to 8. So that is by comparison thereafter. Correct? So follow these three steps to do these questions. Now for you, the question is C. 12 is to 10 equals to x is to 15. Copy this question and follow these steps to do that. 14 is to 8 equals to 21 is to n. So the variable n you have to find, correct? There is no direct relationship between 14 and 21. So you need to write them in the lowest terms. Similarly here, 12 is to 10. You can't get 15 from 10 directly. 10 times 1 is 10. 10 times 2 is 20. So it is in between. So better thing is to divide them by common factor and then use scale factor, correct? That is how you are going to do it. And I'll give you one more practice question like this and then we will do some new type of questions on ratios and proportions. Thank you and all the best.